Okay, so we're now going to look at commenting code and why we should comment code. And then we'll look at a couple of ways that we can actually comment code in PHP. Now, commenting code is extremely important, uh, particularly if you're writing something, even for yourself, um, just noting along the way what you're doing, what certain functions, classes, methods do, um, makes all the difference when you refer back to your code in the future. And also, if you're passing it to someone else to have a look at, it makes it a lot easier for them to understand your code as well, um, or it makes it quicker for them to understand your code. So let's take a look at how we might comment code in PHP. Um, the two main ways that we can comment code and then uh, a couple of other things that you, you might not realize initially about commenting. So let's go ahead and just start with our PHP uh, declaration at the top. Um, and let's go ahead and just create a, a single line comment. Now this is two forward slashes, so you'll see this um, uh, for sort of shorter, um, quick commenting. Uh, some people do multi-line comment with single lines, so I could say this is a function that uh, takes a string and converts it to upper case. Now, despite the fact that we already have a function in PHP that converts a string to an upper case, that doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, I've seen commenting like this before and this, this can be the case sometimes. Um, more preferably, at least personally, um, you can use multi-line comment, which is a forward slash, an asterisk, come a couple of lines down, another asterisk and, an, and a forward slash again, and then anywhere inside of here, it doesn't matter where you place anything, this will then not be interpreted by PHP, so this will be completely ignored. So for multi-line comments, I like to do something like this. So it, it, it looks a bit nicer, but really this could be used for larger uh, pieces of functionality, methods, things like that, or the tops of pages. But really it's entirely up to you how you make use of this. The main thing is actually commenting code in the first place. And commenting code doesn't have to be every line needs to be commented because it would just look a mess. Uh, it's only things that on first glance you might think, well, that looks a bit complicated. I need to explain what that does. Now, what we can also do is we can comment in line. So if I was to say, echo out a string, my name, after this line, we can actually um, uh, use an inline comment, or we could even use a multi-line comment on one line to basically comment on a line basis, but after our output. So basically, this just saves on saying something like output my name. Uh, and instead, you can take this and place this after the line, just so as you read the read through code, it's a little bit more readable. And this comment is almost like, a, oh, it's a little afterthought, you know, this is what this line does. So they are, they're the two ways of we, we can actually comment our code. And um, it's like I said before, it's extremely important to comment code as you go along. It just helps you when you refer back to your code and obviously helps other people take a look at your code and, uh, and understand it uh, a lot better.